What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm currently away on my trip, but uh, just shortly before we left, I managed to get a whole bunch of hours in on Kina Bridge of Spirits. And um, I just wanted to sort of give my first impressions of the game. Of course, I think I think in total I got about six hours in. So um, I, I think you're looking at a 10 to 12, maybe 13 hour game if you do all the side quests, everything like that. At the time of recording this, it was, of course, very, very new. And so there wasn't a lot of information available about it. But um, the footage that you're seeing running in the background, by the way, is from very, very early on in the game, like the first hour to hour and a half. So the idea was to keep spoilers to a minimum because this is an action adventure game. And it's kind of like a once and done kind of game. So anything that I show is, of course, a spoiler and because it's so brand new. And because this isn't really a review, but more like a first impressions, I did want to keep spoilers a little bit down to a minimum. Now, um, straight off the bat, this game is uh, is developed by uh, a studio called Ember Lab, and they come from a background of creating uh, commercials and and branded applications, and 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 they're very very well. Um, how, what's the right word I'm looking for here? They, they're very well known for the animation of of this, and and this is something that you can definitely see in this game. It is ridiculously good looking to look at, but also at the time, it's also very fluid to play and, and, and just, just very responsive and looks fantastic whether you're playing it on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 or on, you know, Windows PC. Um, it's basically got like an, I mean, what I can say about the story is, is it's a lot about the idea of like spirits leaving the world and then, you know, if they're angry, they stay behind and, you know, sort of the character that you play the idea is that they are a spirit guide and, and they have magical abilities that try to assist these spirits in basically getting to the to the, the afterlife. And this is an interesting thing for me because the the concept of the game and the story of the game is certainly very mature. And at least some of the parts that I've seen it goes pretty pretty heavy, pretty heavy in the in the in the in the uh, you know fields and pretty heavy in the, the story material but the gameplay of the game is in a way extremely simplistic and so it's this weird thing where it seems to be a game that's obviously made for you know not not to be extremely difficult to play um and not to be a skill check of any kind or anything and and kind of borrow so many concepts from other games of this type whether it's god of war or you know any other action adventure game for that matter that it feels like you're playing this weird sort of like combination of all of these games together. And um, what you end up with is something that's that's really good, but feels extremely familiar. And at the same time, feels uh, like like something that's not, you know, like it doesn't go too heavy in either direction. There's puzzle solving in the game, but the puzzle solving is not too, it's nothing like, you know, Tomb Raider or, you know, something like that. And then there's combat in the game, but the combat is... You know never steps up the game in terms of like hectic combos at least not again bear in mind i've only seen about four to five hours of the game but i kind of feel like this is basically the point of it and then i think this is going to be the way right until the end is that you don't have these massive you know combos that you can string and the, the combat is fairly you know really straightforward and then the other side of it is of course the platforming side which is also not very very difficult and generally quite you know intuitive and quite forgiving to be to be honest but all in all and those things are not by the way if these sounds like criti if these sound like criticisms to the game they're not i really did enjoy the time that i played the game and i absolutely look forward to coming back and playing it again and finishing it uh there's enough interest in the story there to see how it all plays out and i like the cutesy little characters the rot these little you know creatures that follow you around and they basically empower you and that's basically the magic you know of you know how the game works and um yeah i just think this is a really good effort by ember lab it's a small studio i think they have 13 or 14 people that work together to make this game and um i'm, I'm i really enjoyed the time that i spent with it so i can basically tell you that from my perspective, uh, if you're a fan of games in this genre and you especially you like anything in the action adventure, you know, sphere, uh, you can't go wrong with this game because there's enough cool stuff here if you like that genre of game for you to really enjoy this. But that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. Let me know in the comments down below if you picked this up, if you've tried it out, what your thoughts are on it. If you finished it, obviously no spoilers, don't give anything away. Thank you so much. 
but uh most importantly it's just really important to me that you have a fantastic morning a great afternoon and a super awesome evening wherever you are in the world and until next video fucking cheers they want the best of me now best of me now best of me now best of me they want the best of me now best of me now best of me now best of me they want the best of me now